Good morning students. I hope you are hale and hearty at home and making the best use of time. Good. Children, today our topic is a beautiful poem from your book Honeysuckle. This poem is written by Lorraine M. Halley. In this poem, we will see how beautifully she has described about the difference between a house and a home. So let's read stanza 1 and find out what it means. Stanza 1. What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard, some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's sieves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. After reading this stanza, we came to know that a house is a structure made up of different materials like bricks, stone, glass, wood, etc. It also had window glass and corridors or open space, tiles of the floor, fine paint, roof, elevations of the roof and many doors give it a perfect look. Thus, a house is a completely non-living thing. In the given picture, children, you can see a house with windows, chimneys, bricks. You will see that it has a roof also and a fence also. So there are some difficult words in this stanza like yard, eaves and stucco. So let's understand the meaning of these words in next slide. Yard. Yard is a piece of land next to someone's house with grass and plants growing in it. It may be with grass and may not be with grass. Coming to eaves. Eaves means the edge of a roof. It can be seen in the picture with elevations from the roof. Stucco is a type of fine plaster used for covering walls and ceilings. I hope you have understood the meaning of these words. Now let's move on to the next stanza of the poem. Stanza 2. What is a home? Here, in this stanza, the poetess is trying to make us understand the meaning of home. So let's read stanza 2 completely. What is a home? It's loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. In this stanza, the poetess has explained the nature of a home and what makes a house a home. It is the family members, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers who together make a house. Their acts without any unselfish interest, their concern for each other, their wish to work for each other's happiness and well-being, their wish to show love and care towards each other is what makes a house a home. Here you can see a beautiful family in the picture. They all are family members who are living together. Now, let's pay attention to some difficult words in these, this stanza. Unselfish and kindly. Unselfish means caring about or generous towards other. In the picture, you can see a person is giving something to the old person. So, that means unselfish without thinking about oneself. Next word is kindly means a sympathetic attitude or generous nature. In the picture, you can see a girl is helping an old lady to cross the road. So, let's recapitulate the poem. The poem is written by Lorraine M. Halley. The poetess, through her poem, enlightens us that a house and home are Two words that we use interchangeably. However, they are very different.
while house implies the raw material, the structure and the building. Home is all about family, love, sharing, caring and being selfless. Thus, fa family is what makes a house a home. So children, that's all for today. I'm sure you must have listened very carefully and understood the poem. I'm sure you'll be able to do the exercises given with your video in your notebooks. That's all for today. Stay happy. Stay home.